As you know, we keep close tabs on Fort Wayne native and Dallas Cowboys star linebacker Jalen Smith. Just last week, he was honored with a red coat at the Mad Anthony's Charity Golf Classic. This week, he is talking with us in an exclusive interview about his latest business venture. He says it's not only positively Fort Wayne, but something that could have a positive impact around the country. What a stop by the Dallas Cowboys, Jalen Smith. This is the Jalen Smith we're accustomed to seeing, blazing across the field as a linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. Jalen Smith on the return. Down the sideline, nobody there for Tampa Bay. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. But there's more to this former Indiana Mr. Football than football. For me, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur uh -huh. my entire life. I've been learning so much being a, an active business owner and investor in private equity, venture capital, and real estate developments. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, it's something that's dear to my heart. It's my purpose beyond athletics. Um, I don't want to be remembered as just a great football player. This is Jalen Smith, the businessman. We caught up with him shooting a video at the Grand Wayne Center to launch his latest endeavor, the Jalen Smith Minority Entrepreneurship Institute. He says he got the idea after getting support to launch his eyewear collection, Clear Eye View, which now helps provide charitable funding to support MEI. The biggest thing I've learned and I've gained is this access to relationships and, um, and the and quality deal flow and the right networks of, of people to do business with. And that network of support is what Jalen's Institute will provide to minorities who are looking to start their own businesses. They're going to be receiving, um, you know, the three things that are so much needed, uh, which is financial funding and mentorship and strategic planning, um, uh, partnering with the, the National Christian Foundation, okay. the Sagamore Institute. The National Christian Foundation is a nonprofit that helps donors give to charitable causes. The Sagamore Institute is a think tank of business leaders and investors based in Indianapolis. Along with MEI, they'll listen as emerging minority entrepreneurs from across the Hoosier State pitch their ideas in a contest, a showcase that will take place here in the Sweet Level Lounge of Parkview Field in front of an invitation only audience on July 12th. They're going to start out with five entrepreneurs, and by the time they leave here, they'll be down to three. Uh, so they'll give their speech. They have 10 minutes to talk about their new up-and-coming idea, uh, and then the five panelists will then whittle it down to three contestants that move on. If you're thinking it kind of sounds like the hit TV show Shark Tank, you're right. It's similar, but in many ways different. This isn't just a, a venture to provide uh, some funding. It's, a, it's about creating a marketplace for you know, minorities who desire to be entrepreneurs but don't have the, the access. Jalen Smith's Minority Entrepreneurship Institute, an up-and-coming organization investing in up-and-coming businesses, creating a pool of resources that is positively Fort Wayne. You know, I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, um, so what better way to start um, than in the Hoosier State? We all need assistance, and, um, and, and that's something that um, our minorities we lack now. So. Uh, Northeast Indiana is going to be taken care of. Um, you know, it'll eventually grow throughout the country. Jalen's video to promote his Minority Institute is on social media, and in two days, the first round of finalists will be announced. To hear his entire interview and for links that will connect you to more information about MEI and Jalen's video, just go to Wayne.com and click on Positive MEI. Still ahead, a recap of this morning's top stories.